Hey besties, welcome to Cozy Rosie Reviews from My Couch. Today I am doing a docu-series review for Murdaugh Murders, a Southern Scandal. All three episodes are currently on Netflix. It is from director Jenner First and Julia Willoughby Nason, and it's about the shocking tragedies that shatter a tight-knit South Carolina community and expose the horrifying secrets of its most powerful family. So there's also an HBO Max docuseries, also three episodes, about the same case slash cases. And I liked the HBO Max better because it went more in depth. So it really made you more angry about the situation. I feel like the Netflix one just hovers above everything that happens and like you're annoyed but it's not the anger that I felt when I watched the HBO Max one. Also when I watched the HBO Max one all this information was brand new. I had only at that point I only knew about the mom and the son that were murdered. I didn't know like all the backstory and everything else before that that had happened. So it was brand new information but at the same time I feel like HBO Max did it better, but that's okay. So I also watched the Netflix one. And I guess it, the saving grace for the Netflix one was that it was able to cover a lot more information that's currently happening. Um, so you kind of see more of a full circle moment, but I feel like they could have gone more in depth, made an extra episode and really covered things in a better way. I feel like sometimes what Netflix does with documentaries is that they cover it in a way that like keeps you thinking. So then you start thinking about different conspiracy theories kind of thing, but you don't actually have closure there. And I feel like that's what they did here a little bit. I mean, overall, I feel like what happens, what happens here is that the Murdoch family just flew too close to the sun, especially Alec. There's just a lot here. There's a lot of things that that family may or may not have done and um, he could have gotten away with it. That's the crazy part. There are a lot of things that he could have gotten away with, but he didn't because he kept doing things. I honestly found it crazy how much death and tragedy had surrounded this family and like this family name and nothing was ever done about it until people within the family started dying. That was wild. So for rating, I give Murdaugh Murders a Southern Scandal a three. It was solid, it was okay. Like if I hadn't watched the HBO Max one, might've gotten a higher rating because a lot of this information just wasn't new to me. But I think it's definitely still worth watching. Definitely watch the HBO Max one. And I think like, I think it gives you a better understanding about what's happening now in the media and what's happening now in the court proceedings. And um, yeah, some of it's probably gonna piss you off. So, The Murdaugh Murders, a Southern scandal. Have you seen it? What did you think? Leave a comment down below. And if you like my video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to check out the merch shop below. So, until next time, friends. Bye.